Hey guys! So today we're going to talk about GitHub and a subscriber question that I got yesterday. And the question in question was, Frederick, can you learn higher level or advanced programming from GitHub? So let's get into it. Now, let's give ourselves a little bit of a context on this one. This was a comment posted on one of my older videos where well, basically I had tried to take a stab at another question and that's what's so beautiful about the questions because one question I answer and then I get new questions and then I answer those and it goes on and on and on, which is great. And that question was basically just why is it that some companies and quite a few of them actually require you to have work experience even as a junior developer before they will even consider you for you know for a job and in that like i this person seemed to agree with my statement in that and the short version of that is that it has to do basically with the fact that this is an industry where technical things are happening and people need you to have a certain level of skill before you can even be productive and some companies hire juniors because they think that they can train you in a sh shorter like a fairly short amount of time and the value that you will then produce is going to outweigh the cost of training you and some companies don't share that opinion and they will only hire somebody who already has experience because you are simply even as a junior you're most likely not going to produce a lot of value your first well at least for a year i would say maybe some value but not on par what a, a seasoned veteran will will but this question then arose can you know this person seemed to agree with this this seems to be in line with what he has seen in his life and so he basically wonders whether or not he can learn these sorts of skills from github like to learn how to be a professional and the short answer in a word no you cannot learn how to be a professional software developer from just going to github and let me explain why you see github is just a massive repository of software or of source code there's just a bunch of code and the issue with that is very similar to what I argue is the issue with being a freelancer. The thing is, guys, as, as things hopefully becomes more clear for you when it comes to software development, you will learn one fundamental thing. And that is that just knowing how to solve a problem or just knowing how to write software is not good enough you have to know how to do it in a way that is in line with the established way people do this sort of thing and if you don't know how to do that it will show it will show very quickly it's very easy to figure to spot if somebody is say you know has experience working in IT or not when it comes to certain types of problems and going to GitHub will not give you an understanding of the sort of things that you need to understand in order to be able to produce software like that. The analogy I can make and the analogy I gave this person is basically think of it as building a car. And if you want to build a car, it's very tricky for you to just lay out all the pieces and then put put the car together. Yeah, if you just have the pieces of the car, it's all but impossible for you to learn how it actually all fits together. But because what you need is learning materials that will first and foremost show you each piece, explain what pe that piece does, and then explain how that piece fits into the whole. In other words, how, what, what part does it play within the car as a whole? And then finally, you need to understand how to put all of that together in order to produce a working, working car software works exactly the same way it doesn't matter if you go to I mean if you go to one any project the so first thing is that if you go to the big projects the open source ones you will most likely have no idea what that software does because it's going to be fairly advanced if you go to react or you go to kubernetes or your pick your favorite open source project and have a look at that 
I, if you can go through, I, it's guys, that's not going to help you much. And the same thing goes if you go to some small time little repository, what guarantees do you have that the person writing that software actually is writing it at a professional grade? That's also very tricky to figure out. And this is the thing that I argue is a good thing about official education or that sort of thing is, and that is that you have had somebody who has taken the time and somebody who knows the industry ideally, who has taken the time to create a roadmap for you, who, have created, who knows all the steps that you need to take in order to actually know the stuff that you, that you need to know in order to produce professional grade software. And that's why I will argue that when it comes to being a freelancer, you're kind of doing that on your own. You're, you're doing a discovery journey. And that can end very well for you, or it can end really, really poorly. I have seen tw plenty of freelancers who can never, you know, they can never take the step back, you know, or rather, they can never go from being a freelancer into actual professional grade software development. Because they simply don't, like, they know they have coding skills, but they don't know how to write write it at the at the sort of quality and the sort of gr the same grade as we do in the industry and maybe that's not the goal but it's uh, well i'm not going to say too much about it because to each his own but in my ex my experience it helps a lot if you have learned the skills and have a roadmap that is relevant to the real workforce because that is where most all pretty much all the jobs are that's where all this innovation is happening when it comes to freelancing it's much uh, it's in general projects that are quite a lot smaller and not at the same sort of scale as they as they have at the really large IT companies so what I want you to take away from this is that I, if you try to, or rather it's very unlikely that you will learn professional grade software development from just going to a bunch of repositories and just reading for yourself. Because as I mentioned before, you will have no frame of reference, you will have no context, you will have no understanding of what all of this means. You may understand the code, but you will not understand the mindset or the the way that the person who wrote this was thinking at that time. And just reading code is going to help you, of course, understand software and understand how to write certain things, but it will not make you into, prof into a professional. That is something that you need somebody or some type of learning material to help you out with, to explain why people write things in a certain way or why certain problems are solved in a certain way. So I urge you that if you want to be a true professional, either have a look at some, like, make sure that you find learning materials that are, is actually aimed towards that goal, to actually teach you software development. And if that's not, you know, if that's not good enough, it's even better to actually go and get yourself an edu official, education, official education. Have a great day.